Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm an environmental educator at the Pepperwood Preserve. And I just stayed the night at the preserve and I saw so many moths. Here are a few things that I learned. Let's get started. Tonight, we are looking for moths. We set up this black light and a bed sheet to see who flies by. Moths travel using the moonlight. This black light confuses the moths and it starts affecting the way that they fly. The moth gets closer to the light and we can find them much easier this way. So who did we find? <gasps> wow, it looks like it's licking her hands. Look at its little tongue. Its tongue helps it feed on flowers, the juices of fruit, dead animals, and even scat. But today, this tongue is licking the salty sweat off her skin. Although some moths can be described as dull colored, some might have a pop of color. This pop helps the moth confuse predators because an object changing color while in motion is very hard to see. Some moths like this one have color to warn predators not to eat them because they will not taste good. You might have noticed that this moth is furry. Moths do not have fur. They're scales that look like fur. These scales help absorb the sound waves that a bat releases from echolocation so that the bat cannot find the moth so easily. Here we see a dull colored moth. Moths tend to be dull colored for camouflage. They want to be able to hide during the day when they're not active. Unfortunately for this one, we found it. Look at how fast this moth is moving its antennae and feet. Moths use these parts of their body to detect scents and fragrances. So maybe it's detecting a little bit of plastic right now. That night really showed me that I should be more open to learning about different things. I always overlooked moths and I preferred to learn about butterflies. Is there something that you might be learning in school or at home that you might just find so boring? But maybe if you dive in deeper, just like we did with moths, you might find that it's entertaining and interesting. Think about that for a little. Until next time.